Our first day in Florence is started by having a hearty breakfast in a cute little cafe overlooking a piazza. It is a very wet morning so far in Florence and uh, we were booked in to do a Myths and Legends tour at 10 uh, but our tour guide unfortunately never showed so what we're going to do now is uh, we've purchased another one of those uh, treasure scavenger hunts through the city and even though it's a bit wet and raining we're going to do that so our first location is the Santa Maria uh, Basilica let me double check that yes right this Basilica Santa Maria di no Santa Basilica di Santa Maria Novella yes so that's where we're up we can't go in just yet um, we can only go in there if we're doing mass otherwise visitors, visitors are only allowed between one and five today uh, it is a Sunday so we are going to continue to the next location and if we happen to come across a museum that is nice and warm then we will be going inside and checking out the museum uh, to get out of the weather because it's not great today unfortunately so anyway let's keep going and we'll see what we can find We make our way to the second location of our treasure hunt slash walking tour, which is the Basilica di San Marco. After solving the puzzle, we decide to visit the Academia Gallery, which houses the famous David sculpture. There are other Michelangelo sculptures here, such as the four unfinished prisoners. There is also a plaster cast gallery, which has hundreds of casts used by sculpture artists. We're still doing our little game uh, and we have found I think we've only done two out of the ten so far uh, because we did uh, it's not that we got sidetracked um, but we went past the the gallery of academia which does house David so we did go in and see David and it was magnificent uh, I was really surprised I didn't realize how big David was I could, statue is huge um and it's just it's the way they've displayed it is just lovely it's gorgeous it's just there um anyway but we are continuing on and now this is our next location so we'll see what we have to do here and we'll solve the puzzle and keep moving It's at this point, as the sun is going down, that the temperature plummets. We want to finish our walking tour though, as there are still some great locations for us to visit. So we push on. Ponte Vecchio is simply stunning in the evening, all lit up. We cross the bridge, admiring the products in the store windows but we don't buy anything. Mm -hmm. 
This time of year is just so pretty. All the Christmas decorations are still up, even though it's already January. So, um, I didn't end up finishing uh, any of my videos that I would normally do. So we finished our uh, treasure hunt, scavenger hunt, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and it was fun, but it was really quite cold out there. We were lucky we didn't get wet, so that was a positive. Um, but it was quite cool. After we finished and it was dark by this stage and we saw some incredible sights. So there's some that tomorrow we're doing, we're going over to Pisa, but on Tuesday we'll be back here. And there's a few things that we want to go and, and follow up since doing the uh, treasure hunt. So there'll be like a Uffizi gallery, I think. That's where the, the Venus, uh, painting is we'd like to go and see that I'd probably like to go and check out the, the bridge again in daylight that has all the, um, the bridge that has all the shops and stuff on it uh, Vecchio I think it's called um, and yeah I think there, there's I think the ethno, ethno, ethnography ethnography uh, museum as well would be good so I mean we had a great day we, we saw David <laughs> like um, I, uh, there was another tour tonight that I could have done but I just wanted to get back here and get warm so um, had a great day had a delicious dinner we got Chinese for dinner um, and it was just it was so good and I'm, I'm really really enjoying Florence. So um, <laughs> that might be it. I'm, I'm gonna snuggle up and read my book now uh, until I go to sleep. We'll be up early tomorrow because we are catching a train over to Pisa and to see the Leaning Tower and, and some other things over there. Um, and it should be a great day and I'm looking forward to it. So I've got to go to bed soon. Um, but yeah, I might just read for a bit and then I'll head to bed.